Welcome to English Through History. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe or leave us a review. It helps us to create more content and is appreciated by our small team here. We hope you enjoy this episode today. The story of Roanoke Colony is a captivating tale of exploration, mystery, and the enduring quest for a new world. Set in the late 16th century, this ill-fated English colony on the coast of present-day North Carolina holds historical significance as one of the earliest attempts to establish permanent settlement in the New World. The disappearance of the colony and the unanswered questions surrounding it have intrigued historians and sparked countless theories. In today's episode, we will delve into the history of the Roanoke colony, exploring its establishment, the challenges and its eventual disappearance. The Roanoke colony was initiated by Sir Walter Riley, an ambitious English explorer in an era when European powers were racing to establish colonies in the Americas. Riley was granted a charter by Queen Elizabeth I in 1584. And this gave him the authority to explore and settle any lands not already owned by Christian monarchs. Inspired by tales of other successful expeditions, he saw the potential for wealth and power in the New World. Riley sent two expeditions to test the feasibility of establishing a colony. The first expedition, led by Philip Amadas and Arthur Barlow, arrived at the outer banks of modern-day North Carolina in 1584. They explored the area, interacting with the local Native American tribes and reporting back to Riley with promising accounts of the region's potential for colonization. Buoyed by these positive reports, Riley organized a second expedition in 1585. This time, he placed Ralph Lane in charge. This expedition consisted of around 108 men and aimed to establish a fortified settlement on Roanoke Island. However, the mission faced numerous challenges from the start. The colonists encountered difficulties with the local Native American tribes, particularly the uh, Sekotan and the Croatans. While some tribes were initially friendly, relations quickly deteriorated due to misunderstandings cultural classes and conflicting interests. As tensions escalated, the colonists resorted to using force, which strained relationships with the native population and made their situation even more precarious. Supply shortages, harsh weather conditions and the isolating nature of the location further compounded the settlers' struggles. As discontent grew, tensions within the colony increased. When Sir Francis Drake arrived off the coast in 1586, offering evacuation to the struggling colonists, they eagerly accepted, leaving the Roanoke settlement abandoned. Despite the hardships experienced during the first attempt, Riley remained determined to establish a lasting English presence in the New World. Thus, he sponsored a third and a final expedition in 1587. This time, John White was appointed as the governor of the colony. Around 115 colonists, including women and children, set sail for Roanoke Island. White's mission was not only to establish a thriving settlement, but also to strengthen English claims to the area. However, upon their arrival, the colonists encountered a disheartening sight. The remnants of the previous settlement had been reclaimed by nature, with no sign of the colonists that had just left just three years earlier. Faced with these unsettling circumstances, White left the new colonists on Roanoke Island and sailed back to England to gather supplies and reinforcements. Due to various factors, including the imminent threat of Spanish invasion, White was unable to return to the colonists for nearly three years. When White finally returned to Roanoke Island in 1590, he found no trace of the colony or its inhabitants. The only clue left behind was the word Croatan, 
C O O A T O A N, carved onto a post, and C R O crow etched into a nearby tree. This cryptic message fuels speculation and mystery surrounding the fate of the lost colonists. Numerous theories have emerged over the centuries attempting to explain the disappearance of the Roanoke colony. Some suggest that the colonists were killed by local tribes or faced disease and starvation. Others propose that they integrated with the local Native American tribes, such as the Croatan people, and assimilated into their communities, while some speculate that the settlers may have met a more tragic end at the hands of the Spanish or other hostile forces. What is known for certain is that there were no signs of violence or battle and there were no human remains in the colony. Historians strongly believe that assimilation is the most likely explanation, although to which tribe is unknown. Later accounts of interactions with pale-skinned and blonde-haired people among Native American tribes has helped to enhance this belief. However, without concrete evidence or further documentation, the true fate of the Roanoke colony remains unknown. The mystery of ca has captivated historians and enthusiasts alike, inspiring countless books, documentaries, and even archaeological investigations in search of answers. Despite its ultimate failure, the Roanoke colony played a crucial role in shaping the course of early English colonization in America. It provided valuable lessons and insights that informed subsequent attempts at settlement, most noticeably the successful establishment of Jamestown in 1607. So to conclude, the history of the Roanoke colony represents a key chapter in the exploration and the colonization of the Americas. The daring and ambition of figures like Sir Walter Riley pushed the boundaries of what was known and possible at the time. While the fate of the Roanoke colonists may remain a lingering mystery, their story serves as a compelling reminder of the challenges uncertainties and risks faced by those who ventured into the unknown in pursuit of new beginnings.